Hello and welcome to Mickey Art. My name is Michelle Edhouse and today I am going to be playing with alcohol. Dun dun dun! So I've got this isopropyl alcohol. This is actually 100% isopropyl alcohol. Um, I got it from the pharmacy and putting gloves on. Look. Um, what I'm going to do is I really have enjoyed watching what, um, if you, if you have a look back a couple of videos, you'll see one that actually got washed off because it turned out so hideous, but I had a play with the alcohol on that one before I washed it off. And I really loved the very, very delicate um fractals that happened when I dropped the alcohol on it and I'm trying to find the little tiny one that I made that looked so amazing and it's disappeared huh interesting Sorry, I was going to show you it, but it's hiding. It obviously doesn't want to be shown. What's right about that? I'm not getting. So, let's get started anyway. This is actually the same canvas. I washed it off. And, um, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of white on there. And um, so the previous video that if you check back in my channel had blue and metallic berry and silver and it was a flip and drag on a triangle canvas so you can check back and find that if you haven't seen it um, and there's something left over in the cup now normally when there's something left over in the cup I will do some uh, bits on cardboard to make into jewelry and this didn't want to do that this wanted to contribute to this painting so as you know um, I talk to my canvases I talk to my paints and I ask them what they desire to be how they desire see here's the cup um, and so if if you ask them questions they will tell you but uh, you've also got to be willing to listen when they tell you and receive what they tell you and <laughs> not judge so these are looking cool even without doing anything to them. They just look awesome. I love them. They are spreading in weird and wacky and wonderful ways, as you can see. And, um, <laughs> but now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to drip some, um, drip some alcohol onto them. And see what that does so these you push down on the bulbous bit put it under the liquid into the liquid and then release the bulbous bit and it fills up I don't need anywhere near that much okay and with it being alcohol it's runny <laughs> so you've got to be really careful with it make sure you
<laughs> oh, how does it get any better than that? Let's see what this one wants to do. Now, one thing I noticed on the previous painting was to not use too much. So I'm actually only going to do a couple of these. And then I'm just going to leave them to do their thing. I think. I don't know. That felt heavy when I said that. So that may not be what the painting requires and desires. Now what I'm noticing is actually seems to really only be the blue that's fractalizing. And it's also got the silicon in there, so that's interesting. Doing, if you can see here, it's gone round the silicon blob and created something quite fun and funky there. So most of what's happening is the blue. There's a little bit of the berry going in. And I'm going to be super excited to watch this as it dries. See what gets created when it dries. So... Are you willing to be so out of control that you have no idea what's going to get created? See, look at that. That actually took the top off the... That's weird. Weird and cool. I'm going to leave this one alone because it's doing its own weird and wicked wonky thing. So is that one there, that's doing a weird and wonky thing. And that one looks like a love heart, so I'm not touching that one. I was wondering if I put it on this one, what it will do when it hits the next one up. Oh, it's actually pushing the shape of it. That's quite bizarre. It didn't really take much paint with it at all. Huh. <laughs> Alright, I said I was only going to do a couple and I've done most of them now. I'm going to leave this bug-eyed dude. Can you see that he looks like a bug-eyed dude? He looks like got two big eyes, a nose, and then this big round blue mouth. So we've got bug-eye. We've got mm, kind of like a spiral thing and a love heart. And these are just kind of caught in the middle of everything. So I'm going to leave those as well. And I'm actually not going to, I'm going to let this come dry before I put the video together so I can show you what's happened to it. Now, you've got spots where the silicon has not allowed the fractaling to happen around it. It's really quite cool. So using paint that's got silicon in it creates different variations so i'm looking forward to showing you this dry i'm looking forward to seeing it dry it's very cool what else is possible what have you been creating what else can i create how much fun can i have today okay guys thanks for joining me here at mickey art and uh remember uh, if you want to be part of the thousand subscriber unleashing your creativity free class um, please subscribe and also um, check out the link in the description to the registration page okay thanks guys bye
Okay, I know I said goodbye, but and I know this isn't dry, but I realized that I didn't actually show you close up what these look like, and they're pretty cool. So here you go, here's your close up. I just love that one just on its own. It's so cool. Very, very faint little fractals. They just look like trees in winter. They love, they love fractals. Ooh, there's our bug-eyed boy. He's so cool. Let's see, that's where the silicon didn't let the paint fractalize through there. Very, very fine. It's almost like the fractals are actually only in the white paint and it hardly even got anything in them as you go across to the left there. There's this really big one I left alone. It's a little love heart. So, yeah hope you enjoyed that and I hopefully will be showing you a very cool painting when it's dried all right wow very cool I am very excited this has dried and those beautiful little fractals have stayed just as I created them so um, there's definitely some variation it's not a perfect experiment there's a uh, this one here is quite blurred, um, but these ones have definitely kept their, their sharpness. Um, so I'm not really, I'm not sure if I would uh, rely on it. I quite like this one, it looks like a bushy head on the back of, you see, like um, there's their hair and um, the back of their head and you can just see the ear and the bit of the jawline and the shoulder line <laughs> anyway so yep very pleased with the way those fractals stayed and played so how does it get any better than that thanks for joining me have fun bye bye